Well, we have some results from the 350 versus 175 uh, starting weight for pupation results. Uh, this tray I haven't sorted yet, and you can see, so this was the 350, you can see a lot of pupa. The worms are big and juicy. Uh, really loving that, they look great. And they're starting to transition. And what I noticed from the 175 trays is that they probably had about the same uh, percentage of pupation. So there was less pupa in these trays than there are in these trays. But I think it's because there's less larva to transition here. From a size perspective, these guys look great and they look very similar to these guys. Harder to see in that tray because I just sit there. There's some 175s. Still nice and juicy. Look very similar to these guys. And so what that tells me is that putting 350 in here is okay. They're still going to grow. This tray started on February 6th. Uh, all, all these trays did that we're looking at. Uh, they're still going to grow to be big and juicy. Um, and I'll get more volume of pupa in a tray without sacrificing juiciness or size of those pupa or time length, right? So there's, they're both kind of producing pupa at the same time. Last week there wasn't anything to look at, so I didn't have anything to post or update. But this week, I, I think three, 300 to 350 is a good number for these trays for, for my size when they start, the three quarter inch average harvested worm, to get to pupation and have nice big worms, have enough space to grow and have enough bran in here. Like there's still bran that's left in this, in this tray for these, uh, the 350. There's more bran in the 175, um, but I think all indications are pointing to, I could get more pupa and less space with the 350 and not have to spread them out in the 175s with more trays. What do you guys think?